Hi there, it's Tim again from oraclebase.com. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use external tables to read data from flat files. The first thing we have to do is create an Oracle directory object that points at a physical directory on the file system. In this case, the directory object is called ext tables for external tables and the physical directory is slash tmp. We then make sure our user has read, write and execute permission on the Oracle directory object. Normally we wouldn't need execute, but we'll need it for one of the tests later. Next, we spool out 10,000 rows of comma separated data into the slash tmp directory. This will be the data we load later. Let's just do a quick check to see the files where we expect it to be. When we create an external table, the first part of the table definition looks fairly similar to a regular table. From there on it all changes a little. First we specify that it's an external table by using organization external. Then we have to explain how the data should be loaded. So in this case what we're saying is every new line represents a new record and the fields are terminated by commas. We're also specifying the default directory and the location of the file it should read. Notice at the end we've set a parallel limit of 1, so this isn't going to run in parallel, and we've set a reject limit of unlimited, so it doesn't matter how many mistakes are in the file, it'll carry on going. We need somewhere to put the data, so we're going to create a destination table that matches the structure of the external table, just to keep things simple. We can now populate the destination table by selecting from the external table, which is itself reading from the flat file. A quick check shows us that both the external table and the destination table now have the same number of rows in them. Next we'll show an example of loading gzip data. We'll start by gzipping the data file we created earlier. We then create a simple script to unzip the data. We now redefine the external table. Notice the location is now pointing to the gzip file. We also have a preprocessor clause pointing at our unzip script. This clause was added in 11G release 2 and then backported to 11G release 1. With the new external table definition in place, we can now load the data again, but this time from the gzip data file. As before, we can see the number of rows in the external table and the destination table match. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.